Today, Google announced a brand new model called Gemini 2.0 Flash and promises big gains. We're going to be taking a look at that today in a real world problem. We're going to be stacking up Gemini 2.0 Flash against Claude 3.5 Sonnet and the QWQ model that I'm going to be running locally. The setup for this problem is very simple. I'm going to have the LLM create a model that predicts whether a loan will be approved or not using this data set from Hugging Face. You can see here the full prompt that I am going to be posting in, um, as well as the setup, which is you are an expert data scientist that builds advanced machine learning models. Your goal is to output the final model, including feature engineering, data cleaning, one hot encoding if necessary. You should always score the model using AUC, recall, and precision. I'm going to use this across those three models and see how they do. Now for the ranking, uh, this is completely subjective. There is a little bit of objective if you want to count some of the AUC scoring, but for the most part, this is my opinion and my opinion only. So if you have different results, please share them below. Basically, I want to rank them in three major categories. Basic errors, response quality, and quality of code. Basic errors are very, it's very simple. I just want the code to work. I don't want to have to make changes to it. I don't want to have to go back to the AI and have it fix things. Response quality, I'm going to be looking at how accurate it is, the wordiness of it, etc. The quality of code will be based on four items, features chosen, model choice, AUC score, and does it actually follow the rules of having training and test data? Because ultimately, these are the things that I look at if I were building this model myself. So now I'm going to go into Claude. Um, I really do like Claude's projects. So I'm going to use a project here, even though you wouldn't necessarily have to. I'm going to post the uh, prompt or the setup as the project instructions. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste in the problem here. And this problem is going to be identical to the one that I showed you earlier in the video. Now, while this runs, it's going to take a few minutes and it actually does even do some weird thing where it restarts. But ultimately I get an output. I go into my project. I'm going to create a new file that I'm going to go ahead and paste in my logic into. Um, I'm just reviewing the code a little bit at this point. Uh, opening up a new terminal and I'm going to go ahead and try to run it and hopefully I don't get an error but I actually do so I get an error here uh, it's actually a pretty long error my goal here is just to copy the error I'm not going to give it any further context I'm going to paste it into Claude and again I'm just going to see what Claude corrects it it corrects itself it gives me some new code I'm going to go back into my Visual Studio environment paste it back in and then run it again but look there's another error and at this point, um, I'm a little bit less optimistic that Claude's going to get it figured out, but I'm willing to give it up to five attempts. So I run the code again. Uh, it says it sees the problem. I paste it back in. We run it one more time and we end up with a, another error. So this will be um, another failure. So we're going to take it, copy the error one more time, go back into Claude paste it in here and let's see what the result ends up being here again i'm skipping forward some of the generation here just to save time so i've got my final code here i end up reviewing that quite a bit um, running this code in particular and it actually does work which is awesome now for the results um i basically knocked off quite a bit of points on a scale of zero to 100 for basic errors because it took me four four attempts to actually get it to work the response quality was pretty good. I read through a good bit of that uh, between runs here. The code quality, I looked at the four features and I ranked them as such below. Uh, taking the average ended up with 94.25 points with a total score of 224.25 points. It did choose random forest, which I wouldn't have chosen, but still gave it 100 points because it is a reasonable choice. So now we're going to move over to test the QWQ model. I'm going to load that up into LM Studio. I do have a server running over there and I use anything LLM to actually connect that. So I'm just setting that up a little bit. I leave this in here just because if you're interested in that, both of these applications are absolutely phenomenal to run local uh, models and I would highly recommend you checking them out. I'm running currently on an AMD 7900 XTX, which has 24 gigabytes of video RAM. So I can run typically up to about 32 billion parameter models fairly well. Anything beyond that, it really starts to crush. So now you can see that I've actually set the context of the chat. You saw that. And then I put the prompt in there, the, the problem in there. Now, the one thing about this model is it's incredibly wordy. And I end up chopping more than you can imagine out of this. 
and it's absolutely obscene like how much this continues talking but to be honest it's actually quite clever too because it really does break the problem down into micro stuff so i don't mind the wordiness it's not as much as what some people might so at this point i think it's done so i'm going up here i'm just reading through the code i'm making taking a look at it and then i look down and i'm like holy crap it is still processing now that actually surprised me because it continued on at, and i was like well is this the final output and it's just doing it so the so i sit here i try to copy that code it doesn't actually let me because it's still producing below and it kind of bugs out and anything llm when i'm doing that so now i skip forward a little bit and it did finally finish now i cut a lot of time out there it is by far the wordiest model of the ones i've tested uh, but i actually really do like qwq model and here's the amazing thing it actually worked the very first time and i have all the scoring and this was phenomenal for it no errors and anything now talking through the results it worked the very first time so of course it's going to get 100 points for basic errors there were none it, it just flawlessly worked the response quality i had to lower that significantly not because of accuracy because i did read through a good portion of it not all of it i'm gonna be honest with you because it was so wordy but it it did do a reasonably but very wordy job the quality of final code here is a little bit lower than claude but um ultimately that comes down to the features it chose claude just chose and built better features the model chosen was the same as claude and the auc score was a little bit lower as well and it did ultimately split the data um, as i would expect for training data and evaluation data it did end up with a total score of 235.5 points now we're going to jump into the brand new gemini 2.0 flash model uh it's super easy to use i go in and i put it in my project instructions my uh, problem I stick in and I kick it off. I'm actually just going to let this run at normal speed. I was amazed how fast it, it ran. I will say today it did actually slow down as the context got larger and larger, but for the initial run, it was enormously like successful and very, very fast. So I bring that in, I paste the code in and I run it. And I'm curious if you guys would predict that this is going to work first time or not. So let me know below. It ultimately did. It actually even gave me a graph of some of the scoring that's actually occurring, which I thought was a, kind of a nice touch because I didn't actually ask for that. So this model ran away with it for this particular test. Again, this is my experience and one problem. I actually used that it all day today and I was over overwhelmingly impressed. And I, in some cases, I think it did perform better than Claude. Uh, while in other cases, I think maybe Claude had a slight edge. But in this particular problem, in my very scientific, um, I'm joking, by the way, a classification of this, it, it really did an extraordinary job. I will say QWQ is like one of my favorite models to actually have running locally, and it did perform very well. And Claude always performs well for me. So for this to come in and actually get a higher score, my first day using it, it's actually very interesting. Uh, so no errors out the gate, 100 points. Response quality was amazing. It was incredibly quick. It got right to the point. The quality of code was phenomenal. The features it chose were, I'd say, better than QWQ, but not as quite as good as Claude. Uh, but at the end of the day, the AUC score is, is really what uh, I, I used it, the objective measure here, and I ended up with the highest AUC score. I did make sure there's no data leakage or overfitting to the best of my ability there. It chose, in my opinion, probably the best model for this particular one with the logistic regression. And it's the only one to do so. And it picked up that it needs to be a binary classification. So I was very impressed on that. I do like random forest. I like that model a lot. So I didn't nick that, but I personally would have chose logistic regression as my starting point here. It also followed all the rules and ended up um, getting hundred points for data splitting as well. Final score was 295 points, which is substantially higher than the other two models. And I would highly recommend you give this model a try. I would love to know your own results with this because, you know, my use case in particular is very much along the same lines as this, very much coding, very heavy, like model and data analysis, uh, sometimes web and back front, front end and back end type coding as well. So I'll see how it performs as I go forward on that. But until next time, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, peace.